are going to start the stability and flow value as per ASTMD 6927 for Marshall specimen. As about this Marshall specimen is considered, which I have shown you over here. Now here I would like to tell you okay, what is the stability. Actually, stability is related to the force which is going to produce the deformation in the specimen when tested by the Marshall machine. And other thing is the flow. Here I would like to tell you one thing. This is the specimen, it is in the normal condition. When on this specimen the force is being applied, then it is no more in the cylindrical shape. It is going to get the shape like this one, okay, like it becomes little bulge like this one. So this type of the, the deformation produce and this distance is known as our flow value. So which is shown over here. So, so these two values we are going to determine by using this standard. In this standard, what we are going to use? The first thing is our uh, breaking head. And second thing over here, in this breaking head, we are going to put our this Marshall specimen. And second one is our uh, uh, Marshall machine. This machine is going to uh, make the deformation or to cross through this specimen. And this machine is going to apply a load at the rate of 51 millimeter per minute until failure occur. And after this, uh, we have the our water bath. Now, in this water bath, I would like to tell you, at the bottom of this water bar, we have this perforated plate. And uh, the temperature at this water bath should be controlled. And this temperature is equal to 60 plus minus 1 Celsius. And the time required to heat the specimen is 30 to 40 minutes. It means this specimen which is in my hand, it will be dipped into the water. Like I have shown you over here. Okay, this is my specimen which is dipped in water. And this specimen will remain in water before testing for the 30 minutes. After this 30 minutes, specimens are taken out and it is placed in Marshall head. When it is placed in Marshall head, there we are applying the load at the rate of 51 millimeter per minute. When the deformation happening, And from the nowadays we are not using manual, nowadays we have the crystal display. It is going to provide the value of the load over there at which failure has occurred. We have note down from the machine and similarly how much is the flow value produced over here then we are going to write down these value. When these values are written but here keep one thing in mind this load is always given in kilonewton. And this flow value is given in millimeter. It's understood. Next, what will we do? You know, our stability as per our uh, specification, sometimes we want to convert it into kilogram. Sometimes we want to convert it into Newton. But for my specification, it say it should be in the kilogram. And its value is also mentioned in the technical data sheet. It should be 1100 kilogram. Now, my answer is in the kilonewton. How I have to change it? It means one kilonewton. If we want to convert it, it will be greater than 101.97. This answer will be converted into kilogram. That's it. Now, after doing this stability and flow value, our third term is the stiffness. Now let me explain to you what is the stiffness. Stiffness means it is the property of the material. That how hard is produced to deformation in the material. So let me tell you how hard to produce to 
टू प्रोड्यूस द डिफॉर्मेशन बाई फोर्स इज नोन एज स्टीफनेस सो हेयर स्टीफनेस इन माई कैलकुले केस दिस स्टीफनेस ओवर हेयर इज द रेशियो बिटवीन द स्टेबिलिटी एंड फ्लो वैल्यू and for my technical specification this stiffness value is always mentioned and its value should be greater than 450 kg per mm this is the thing about the, the stiffness now as i have shown you over here another thing i would like to tell you over here correction in stability correction is stability meaning a is equal to b by c this b is the load or stability measured by machine known as the marshall machine over here this c is the correction factor and a is the corrector stability and i will give you one example you know this is a marsh specimen with me and i have made its volume its volume is ideal volume is 509 up to 20, 522 when it is having this range of the volume here correction factor a is equal to 1 but in my case my this volume of this specimen is 506 it means it is less than 509 509 here i will apply the factor a which is greater than 1 and as i have seen its value from ms2 it is equal to 1.04 to so a would be uh, sorry uh this uh, this is sorry see a would be equal to b multiplied by 1.04 let us suppose that i will give you one example this b is equal to 1700 kg what would be a it means ke 1700 multiplied by 1.04 whatever the value come it is our final stability Thank you very much for seeing this. And next, I will try to show you in the video that how we are going to crush it by using the Marshall machine. And there, I will give you final example for the measurement of these things. Thank you very much for seeing this. If you have any doubt, please let me know. Thank you.